We don't have to go to Terre Haute. We don't have to go clear over to Indianapolis or Chicago to, to the Art Institute. Uh, sure, you'll see masters, but there's a lot of talent right here locally, and I, I think it's good for uh, the communities to see what everyone's doing. In Marshall, Illinois, there's a place where local art is showcased on a regular basis. The Gaslight Art Colony in downtown Marshall was the vision of local resident and artist Joe Rich. And Joe is uh, an extremely good watercolorist, uh, known throughout the whole area. And it always had been a desire of her to, her to have uh, an art gallery. I had this building and didn't really want to sell it, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And uh, thought, well, that sounds pretty good. And I thought, well, I called a few people, and everybody that I mentioned it to were so excited. And and it just kept developing. And it didn't take long for the idea to turn into a reality. In October of 2009, the Gaslight Art Colony officially opened their doors. Our first show that we had here, we called Art of the Colony. And we afforded all of our members that were artists or fledgling artists, if they wanted to show their work, uh, they could. And I'm telling you, it was remarkable. The quality, uh, we have some brilliant artists in this, in this small community in, in Clark County. It is remarkable what we have. Well, right now, every month we offer uh, uh, a, a new artist to show their works, uh, and that runs for roughly about a three to four week period. Uh, and we have different mediums come in. We've had photography, we've had uh, pastels, we've had watercolors, uh, sculpt, wood sculpture, uh, carvings, I should say, ceramics, uh, and, and we've done quite well with that. Most of the gallery art is the work of local artists or those who have ties to the region. Works displayed here come in a variety of mediums with some pieces for sale. For a small gallery in a town of 3,400 people, uh, we have sold a lot of artwork. Uh, and, and I think that's one of the great things, that people can come in, buy original artwork that is uh, just as good as anything they're going to find anywhere else and have an original piece of artwork at a very reasonable price. A percentage of art sales along with memberships and volunteers helps to fund and operate the colony. Classes for people of all ages and skill levels is another important and growing part of what the colony has to offer. We've had photography classes both beginning digital and advanced. We've had drawing classes, uh, just beginning drawing. What's really been great is that on Saturdays we've uh, been offering drawing classes for children of various age groups. In times where funding for art classes in schools is on the decrease, classes like the ones offered here allow budding artists to explore their creative side. Our teacher Maria she has them put their work up on the wall and you can see the first week, then you see the second week, and then you see the third week and you can see the progression and, and it's just, it's remarkable. And you also get to see those kids that are really talented, that have the knack, that have the desire and the talent, uh, really start to stand out and it builds confidence in them and uh, you really get a sense that they may go on and, and uh, pick up art later in their life and, and be an artist. Everybody gets together and and the excitement and the camaraderie and everything just you you just sort of feed off of each other and uh, I think that it's another really important thing. The Gaslight Art Colony plans to increase their number of class offerings and continue to be a place where artists can showcase their work to the people not only of Marshall but also the surrounding region. But we want to continue to get different mediums and try to let the public see it's not just paintings or it's just not photography, but there's just so many mediums in the art world that, that we want to try and offer a little sample of all of it. So that's, that's been our goal.